So as you can see, this is a switch mode power supply board, okay, as you can see, or SMPS board. So we're gonna desolder and solder some components in this board, okay. So this is, as you can see, the input power. Okay, here we have the fuse. This is the capacitor, the electromagnetic interference and protection components. Okay, capacitor. Here we have the transistor or MOSFET, the transformer, as you can see. Okay, this is the primary stage. And as you can see, here as you can see this is the filtering capacitor double filtering capacitors okay so this is just an overview okay as you can see capacitors as you can see this is the output the output stage okay so as you can see this is as i told to you the double filtering capacitor that we gonna desolder and solder okay and so as you can see here do you see the terminals of the capacitors okay this is as you can see here the first capacitor c1833 okay and this is the other capacitor okay so these capacitors are polarized as you can see plus and minus this is minus and plus so first of all we should clean the soldering iron always keep cleaning your soldering iron okay Always you should clean the soldering iron before and after the soldering operations. Okay, now the iron is cleaned as you can see. So we're gonna use the soldering iron with the soldering pump, okay, to desolder these two capacitors. So as you can see here, here the first terminal is desoldered as you can see. So just put the soldering iron in the terminals and use the pump to remove the soldering, okay? So let's pass now, as you can see, the capacitor now is free. You can remove it easily, as you can see. So let's desolder the second capacitor, okay? And then remove the both capacitors. So the same working principle is just put the soldering iron in the terminal and use the soldering pump to remove the soldering. So this pass to the second terminal, as you can see, okay. So as you can see, now the capacitors are free. Do you see these holes? capacitors now are free we can remove it easily so let's remove these two capacitors as you can see Do you see using the soldering pump you make things easier okay because you cannot remove this capacitor using just the soldering iron always the soldering pump, pump is necessary as you can see this is the capacitor place as you can see Here, as you can see, this is the this is the minus. As you can see, the black part is minus, and here we have the plus or the positive part. Okay, so pay attention when you want to solder or to install the capacitors. You should pay attention to the polarity. Okay, minus and plus. Okay, if you inverse it, you can damage. The capacitor so now let's install the capacitors and then solder it using the same working principle as you can see the minus will do black part as you can see always pay attention to this tip okay because the capacitors the chemical capacitors are not like the ceramic capacitors or the resistors you should respect the polarity now as you can see as you see here we have terminals of capacitors now we will apply the soldering wire as you can see okay 
So let's apply let's first clean the soldering iron. As I told you before, always clean your soldering iron. Now let's apply a little bit of soldering wire as you can see. This is a professional soldering as you can see. Okay. Okay, just use this method and this technique to solder the electron component. You see? Good. This is a very professional soldering. Okay, easy. And then clean the soldering iron. This is a very important tip. If you don't clean your soldering iron, the soldering iron will not be good. As you can see now, do you see the terminals are soldered correctly? This is a good soldering, exactly like the soldering for the robot or the original soldering. Now we're gonna, as you can see here, this is a resistor. Okay, this is resistor, as you can see. This kind of compound is a resistor. Here we have the ceramic capacitors. Okay, do you see ceramic capacitors? The ceramic capacitors are not polarized capacitor. This is the reference of these capacitors always begin with C, okay? So, as you can see, here, in the other side, this is it. So, let's remove these two capacitors. This is C815. So, let's desolder these two capacitors using, of course, the soldering iron with the soldering pump, okay? So we're gonna use the same working principle. First, let's touch the terminal with the soldering iron and then use the soldering pump to remove the soldering, the old soldering, okay? So that's why I told to you that if you clean the soldering iron from time to time, you will keep it always serviceable and you will make tank easier for you but if you don't clean it the soldering iron will not be ready for good soldering so let's desolder the second ceramic capacitor so this is so as you can see here we have this button okay this is the working principle for the pump just press the button then you will remove the solder the old solder so now as you can see the ceramic capacitors terminals are free as you can see Now we can remove these two ceramic capacitors easily. Okay? So let's remove it. So this is the first one, as you can see. These capacitors are not polarized capacitors. You can install it in both directions, no problem. This is the second one, as you can see. Okay, they don't have the plus and minus. Okay, no plus and minus. So let's install back these two capacitors. So let's install the second capacitor. So now we will apply the soldering wire to the capacitor terminals. So here we have, as you can see, the first capacitor. Okay. So the second terminal of the first capacitor. Okay, let's pass now to the second capacitor. You see the technique? of soldering 
check this is the way the correct way to do so so always clean your soldering iron okay always before and after Now the capacitors, as you can see, are soldered to the motherboard. Now we're gonna desolder this resistor, as you can see. So we will use the same working principle to desolder this resistor. As you can see, this is the reference of the resistor, as you can see. Okay, we will find the same reference in the other side. Okay, so let's see. As you can see, here we have R805, as you can see, the same reference. Okay, R805 means resistor 805. So we're gonna desolder this resistor using the same working principle always using the soldering iron with the soldering pump okay so to remove any components we use the soldering iron with the soldering pump and to solder it back we use the soldering iron with the soldering wire okay so as you can see Using the soldering pump, we remove the old soldering. So let's clean the soldering iron. After finishing the soldering operation, now as you can see, the resistor is free. The terminals of the resistors are free. As you can see, we can now remove it easily. As you can see, now the resistor is removed, okay, as you can see, here this is the place of the resistors terminals, you see the hole here, two holes, that's why we use the soldering pump. So let's solder back this resistor, okay, so let's just align it to its place and then apply a little bit of the soldering wire as you can see terminals so let's use the same working principle we will apply a little bit of soldering wire over the resistor terminals okay so as you can see just put the soldering iron and touch it with the soldering wire so let's solder the second terminal as you can see don't use a lot of soldering wire and finally let's clean our soldering iron to to make it always clean for the next soldering and to soldering operations now as you can see this is r85 the soldering a good a very good soldering this is a very professional solder. Okay. Okay, this is a very professional solder as you can see. 